Hi, you have tuned in to the Rating Icon channel, and I'm your host, Chinkis. So, in this video, we are going to start uh, going through the teams in the Sun Conference Mele Mele Division of the Pokemon Winter League. And first up, we have the Suvala Tangela. Sorry for the pronunciation. <laughs> if that was wrong, let me see if I just correct me in the comment section if I was wrong. I feel like I did. Uh, pronounced it right, I had to look it up, but I think I got it right. But the Swallet Angelas, uh, they have a very very scary team in my opinion. It's very bulky but still very offensive. And it's not like a single Pokemon, you can't prep with one Pokemon to cover everything. But at the same time he can pretty much bring three Pokemon and can cover your whole team. And that is really really scary. He has the possibility to bring a lot of different teams as well uh, and you're going to see exactly what I mean just yeah, you can just look at these these six Pokemons here and you can see that this is an extremely bulky core that you can bring every single week and you will still have, have problem, extreme problems so first out we have Tapu Bulu we all know what Tapu Bulu does I went through it earlier in the PSL videos Good choice bandit or die for a bit, set up the grassy search and just click wood hammer. And then you can get some HP back with some other moves. You can go with lefties to get some, some help from grassy search. So I mean, this Pokemon is just there to hit you as hard as possible and then go out. And not a lot, I don't think in the... Uh, on the grass, when it's on the grassy search and, you get, and it goes for wood hammer. I don't think anything except for quad resists can survive with more than 50% health, health left. That is extremely, extremely scary and extremely good to have on a team. Stabibuli is a top tier threat all cat I mean all categories. Uh, next up we have uh, Mega Charge Shard Y. So this is a Pokemon that Works pretty well with Tapu Bulu. If I, I'm just gonna look here. I don't remember if Tapu Bulu got through this off the top of my head. No, it doesn't. Okay. Because it would have been broken to get the sun up and then have synthesis in the sun. Uh, but Mega Charge Shard Y is extremely, extremely scary. You can just see this, it's, it has almost a base 160 special attack stat with good bulk on the special side, okay speed. Uh, Fire Flying is not the best, the best typings. But at the same time, it's a very, very good Pokemon. You get one turn solar beams off, boosted flamethrowers, boosted fire blasts, and uh, you just hit extremely, extremely hard. Air stab, air slash as well. I mean, this thing is just uh, an annoyance. It's. If I, I mean, there aren't a lot of things that can check Mega Charizard Y. Uh, but it, but it's still more more Pokemon's that can check Charizard Y that can check the uh, Mega X. So I mean, Charizard Y together with Tapu Bulu is an extremely extremely scary core to have. And then we have his Crystal Usage Dragonite. Uh, Dragonite will never run in focus; it will always run mold scale. Otherwise, it gets destroyed by ice. So this is a Pokemon that is extremely extremely good to have. It's another Pokemon that you can scarf or ban. Oh wait, it's not a Pokemon that you can ban, but it's also a Pokemon that you can scarf. So you can have a banded, a Mega, and a Scarfer in its top three tier threats. And this is just. I mean, you can't really do anything uh, anything about Dragonite. It, just, it will just be in and it will attack you. And uh, it will be extremely, extremely scary to have to deal with. Uh, so I fold the joining and crazy faces. <laughs> I'm trying to make sure that I don't join on camera because uh, it's still pretty early. Uh, pretty early for me. So Dragonite is a Pokemon that, well, we all know what it can do. It can be special. It can be physical. Scarfed specs, scar, uh, scarfed specs, banded, life orb, bulky, AV. It has a lot of viability. It, I'm pretty sure it gets defog as well. Yeah, so it has a way to get rid of uh, Hazard for Charizard, that is really really important. Uh, next up we have Nidoking. 
Nido King will never run Poison Point unless you... Uh, well, not never. Uh, it could be if you run a defensive force, a uh, defensive Nido King. But Chair Force is, is the ability it will use. And Nido King is a Poison Ground type, extremely scary. Not as bulky as Nido King, Nido Queen, but it's still a very, very bulky Pokemon. It's extremely scary to face. A Scarfed Nido King can run through almost every team. Uh, it's one of the hardest hitting poison types in the game, and it's and it's the same with the, its ground typing. It's an extremely extremely scary Pokemon to have. You'll most like to see it's Chair Force Life Orb or Chair Force Scarf, and not as often as you will see Specs or Banded. But I mean, it's still possible. And this is one of the best fair checks in my opinion, because. I mean, we have some fairy steals, and Nino King doesn't give a shit about fairy steel. Easy as that. So that's a really, really good Pokemon to pick up. And next up, we have a Magneton. Magneton is a very, very bulky steel electric type, and together with and together with Eviolite, it becomes extremely, extremely bulky. Base 120 special attack hits extremely hard as well. So I really like that pickup. And he has two flyers and he has a grassy search, which will reduce and make immunities for Earthquake. So Magneton is a great fit on this team. It's a really really good fit. Next up we have Gastrodon. Uh, Gastrodon is a special it's a wall overall, both physical and specially. Uh, the water ground typing is not the best, but since he has uh, a lot of, of resistances to grass, I don't really see it as a problem at all. It's a really, really good Pokemon. Uh, doesn't really get any way to get rid of hazards, but other than that, it's a great Pokemon to have on a team. Uh, it's a great annoyance to deal with as well, with Recovery Stall, Recovery Toxic Stalling, Stealth Rock Scald. Uh, what is called uh, both Earthquake and Earth Power. So it's a, it's a really really good Pokemon to have on the team. Uh, then we have a Rapid Spinner here in Cryogonal. So Cryogonal, I don't have the best uh, the best experience with Cryogonal. I've used it like three times in random battles, and I remember one set that was really really fun to use. And it was a Scarf Cryogonal. I have no clue why it was Scarf, because it has a great speed stat. And of course it was random, so I mean, that might, that might be it. But that actually worked extremely, extremely well. Because you outsped a lot of threats that could run it KO it. For example, Megalopony had no chance at all to, to kill Cryogonal. And that was extremely, extremely handy to have. And you did a lot of damage to Creo to with Creogonal to Megalopony. So this is just a great Pokemon. Uh, not that good of a physical defensive Pokemon, but special defensive it's great. You can run it Scarf, you can run it Specs. Uh, most likely it would be a Pivot with U-Turn, Toxic, U-Turn, Toxic, Stab Ice, and something else. Levitate gives him another user, another resistance to. Earthquake, and that's really, really good to have. Then we have Masquerain. Uh, Masquerain's... I don't really know what Masquerain does except for Intimidating and U-Turning. Might get Crividance, I don't really know. It does get Crividance, of course it's a bug type. <laughs> I mean, Masqu Masquerain can, can be a threat. Uh, I don't really know what set you could bring on it. I could see a defensive Rocky Helmet variant. Uh, I could see a specially offensive quiver dancing set. I could see a spec set. I could really see a scarf set. So, I mean, you can do some things with it, and that's really, really good. Uh, it's not the Pokemon that I would go for the most of the time, but still, it's, it's a viable Pokemon to have. And then we have uh, Gorgeist. So, as you know, I, I myself love Gorgeist. Uh, you will see it in my week one battle. It puts on a lot of pressure and it is great overall. It's just so bulky. It has great, it has three great forms. Uh, 
You can run this form and be scarfed and hit extremely, extremely hard. You can beat this form and be still be pretty defensive. And that's really, really good. Uh, Frisk is one of the best abilities in uh, Drift League format because you really need to find out the set the opposing Pokemon brings. Or the opposing uh, coach brings. That's really, really good. That helped me a lot in that game. Uh, actually, so that was really, really good. Uh, next up we have uh, the bulkiest fighting type ever. Eevee Light Girder. And you can't toxic it, you can't paralyze it, you can't do anything against it to hinder it because it has guts. So, so Girder just sits there with Eevee Light and click Drain Punch and it will never die. It's an extremely, extremely powerful Pokemon. And in the right hands it can sweep a team. In the right hands it can destroy your opposing team. I mean, Girder is one of those, if you bring a Psychic type and a Fairy type, you must be prepared to take one hit because with Eevee Light, Girder will survive any one hit from you. And that's really, really scary to, to face. Because I'm pretty sure it gets Poison Jab. Yeah. So, it gets Poison Jab, Night Slash? No. Uh, it gets uh, Knock Off, right? Yeah. So, I mean, nor Psychic nor Fairy Typings are safe against Scouter, and that is extremely, extremely scary when you try to team build. So, that's, that's a good Pokemon time on a team. Gives some form of priority as well. Next up, we have Heatran. Uh, Heatran works extremely well on this team thanks to the enormous amounts of levitate users and flying users and grass and the ground resistance and uh, the grassy search as well. So I really really like Heatran here in this, uh, in this team. It will do wonder for him. Especially since he has flash fire so they have to bring uh, ice beam to be able to take on most of his team. And then you'll have a quad resistance in Heatran. And you don't. You can run scarfed, banded, a, you can run a lot of different sets that don't require you to have uh, a balloon, since you will eat up lots, uh, most earthquakes in the grasses, in the grasses arch. And then, last but not least, we have Rotom, Electric Ghost, good pivot, very underrated in my opinion. And if you use it well, it it can actually be pretty dangerous for your opposing team. I'm pretty sure I saw a uh, AV Rotom not so long ago. That I feel like, uh, if I remember correctly, it got four kills, and that's extremely, extremely good for for bulk Pokémon. Rotom is a very, very underrated in my opinion. It's fast, good, uh, good ability for its electric type. Gets a lot of viable moves, and should be used more. That's all I really have to say about Rotom. So overall. The Swallotangela has a very scary team, extremely bulky, pretty offensive, a uh, lot of options to deal with Earthquake, Fairies, to deal with uh, Poison types as well, to deal with Ground types overall, and uh, yeah, this is, I really like this team. Uh, and I know for sure that the coach of the Swallotangela is really really good, so uh, that's extremely extremely good to have, extremely good to face. And it would be a very, very scary team to have to deal with. But that's all for now. My name is Jingis, and I will see you next time.